Welcome into College Football Mornings on camp- the Campus to Canton Network. I am Chris Moxley. You can find me at Chris Moxley19 on Twitter and everything I do at CampusCanton.com, Campus Canton YouTube, Campus Canton on Twitter, everywhere Campus Canton exists. Wednesdays, moving forward on our new show, we'll do a prize picks five for five. I'll give you five player props I like that you can build your parlays around, hopefully in five minutes, hence the other five. If you're new to prize picks, you haven't heard of prize picks, um, or you have heard of it, but you haven't quite made the jump to it, this is your opportunity. Campus Canton has a promo code for you specifically, C2C. It gives you a deposit match up to $100, and it gives you $29.99 towards a yearly membership of your choice. Again, promo code C2C, $100 match, uh, $30 towards membership of your choice. It's a great deal, especially to get your feet wet with uh, some of these props that we're going to be talking about today. So the five that I'm going to give you, um, again, this is a short slate. Week zero is generally smaller. We only have a handful of games to actually choose from. But I have five and a handful more I really like. Let's start with Mike Wright. Mike Wright is the Vanderbilt quarterback. His passing yards are set at 200.5. I like the over here. Hawaii secondary features one player who played more than 60 snaps in 2021. This group has little experience. Right, although he's primarily a rusher, can light this group up. He only may have 15, 20 attempts, and he might hit this number. He hit this number tw- twice last season. He came two yards shy um, in six starts, but he only played against SEC play. Hawaii is a huge step down with all the losses they have. I think there's a slight value here, especially when you compare it to the other prop markets like Underdog, who has them set at 205.5. I think you're getting a little bit of value, and I think Wright is – in a good position to hit this over. Second, Trey Palmer, wide receiver at Nebraska, over 50.5 receiving yards or his over 4.0 receptions. Offense coordinator Mark Whipple joins Nebraska from Pittsburgh. He was the one who led Jordan Addison to his Bolitnikoff season last year. And I think this team will skew pass heavy with the departure of Adrian Martinez and the addition of Casey Thompson. By all indications, Trey Palmer has been the wide receiver one all throughout camp in the spring and in the fall. And I think that he's set up to do that this week. They are playing Northwestern who has a very poor uh, secondary. They lost their best player via transfer to Notre Dame. I really like this number, especially because again, when we compare it to other prop sites, it's 23% lower on price picks than it is on underdog. And he that's for yardage. And then his, Reception line is 5.5 on underdog compared to 4.0 on prize picks. Again, I think there's great value here. They're going to throw more. Third, Zion Bowens, over 3.0 receptions. He's the leading returner returner for this offense. They lose Nick Mardner, um, who was a big piece of that team last year. And Timmy Chang comes from air raid roots. He wants to be able to throw the ball, and I think Zion Bowens is the guy who's going to do that for Hawaii this year. This offense is probably going to be inefficient, but I think they're going to throw enough to support the volume that Bowens needs to succeed. They're almost a touchdown underdog in this matchup. The implied game script means that they're probably going to need to throw a lot, period. I think Bowens is the primary beneficiary, and I think Vanderbilt has some good players in their secondary, like Jalen Mahoney, but I'm not quite sure that Bowens doesn't hit this three. Four, Tyron Smith over three and a half. He is the clear wide receiver one for UTEP. Last year, he was a third option behind Jacob Cohen and Jason Garrett. He averaged 2.8 receptions per game. He's now the alpha on an offense that attempted 29 passes per game in 2021. I expect that number to be very similar in 2022. And North Texas has a decent front and seven, but a very poor secondary group with Deshaun Gattle and John Davis. I don't really like Anybody that's going to be covering Tyron Smith, I think he's a clear wide receiver. One, 3.5 reception should be very much in range. This game is currently a pick em, which means that I think that they will throw a good amount and not be game scripted. He won't be game scripted out of this matchup. Lastly, Chris Reynolds, Charlotte quarterback, over 0. 0. 0.5 interceptions. He threw six interceptions in his final game of 2021. He had a 5% interception rate in his two full seasons as a starter meaning he threw one in every 20 passes. There has been an interception in this time frame. They're currently a seven point, seven and a half point underdog. He'll be forced to throw a bunch in this matchup. 
Uh, Charlotte's defense is terrible. They're probably a bottom five unit in the country. That's a recipe for disaster. I actually like FAE's secondary. I think they have some good pieces there. Uh, Tejay Young is a good safety, and Romain Munjin is a quality corner. These are guys who can get interceptions off of Reynolds, who will throw a bunch and is very mistake prone. That's the five for five. Chris Reynolds over half interception. Tyron Smith over 3.5 receptions. Zion Bowens over three receptions. Trey Palmer over 50.5 receiving yards or over four receptions. And Mike Wright over 200.5 passing yards. Again, if you haven't checked out Price Picks, promo code CETC will take you there. We're going to be doing this segment all year on Wednesdays. Again, good morning. Good luck. Let's make some money this weekend.